I'm interested about the legal implications of having autopilot in the Model S's, sure. right? Um, what happens, Elon, if the car does in fact crash? Who is going to be responsible when that car is on autopilot? Yeah, so I think it's important for us to differentiate autonomous driving um, versus autopilot. Autopilot is what they have in airplanes. Uh, for example, we, we use the same term that they use in, in airplanes, where there's still an expectation that there will be a pilot. So, the, so if, if the, the onus is on the pilot to make sure that the autopilot is doing the right thing, um, it's, it's not, we're not yet at the stage where uh, you can go to sleep and wake up at your destination. Um, uh, if, we would have called it autonomous instead of autopilot if, if that was the case. Right. Um, but what, what we are doing is making it a lot uh, easier and more comfortable to drive the car. Um, and incorporating uh, a lot of active safety features so that the car will uh, stay in its lane, will automatically brake, will maintain a distance to other cars, uh, will uh, avoid like highway barriers and other obstacles. Um, but that doesn't still address the question though, Elon, which is, e let's say it's on aut autopilot, so it's not autonomous, uh, but if it's on aut autopilot and a driver says, hey, you know, this was supposed to change lanes for me, and instead it hit this barrier. Uh, I want, you know, I want Tesla to be responsible for this. Yeah, um, I think we're, we're going to be quite clear with customers that the responsibility remains with the driver. Okay. Um, we're not asserting that the car is capable of driving um, in the absence of driver oversight. Um, that that will be the case in the, in, at some point in the future, like maybe five or six years from now. I think we'll be able to treat, achieve. Uh, true autonomous driving where you could literally get in the car, go to sleep, and wake up at your destination. Um, but in order to do that, you have to have fully redundant systems. Everything's got to be redundant so that any one system breaking does not result in an accident. Mm -hmm. um, and you also have to prove that out over you know, millions of miles of driving. And, that, and then, uh, of course, the, the, then we have to prove that to the regulators to convince them that it's safe. And, that, and so I think from the point at which true autonomous uh, driving is, is possible, which, which I, I now think is probably in the five or six year time frame. Uh, you said that before though, yeah, five yeah, to six years, yeah. yeah. Um, if, and a couple of years ago I thought it was more like ten years, but okay. based on the rate of improvement uh, that I'm seeing and the progress we're making, I think we'll probably be able to do it in five or six years. Um, and then, but, but uh, it's, it's probably still going to take two or three years after that before the regula re regulators pr approve it, because they'll want to make sure that it's truly um, a lot safer than driving with a person. And this, the standard for fully autonomous driving is going to be much greater than for a person. Right. Because um, if, if it's just equivalent, that wouldn't be enough. There's no change at all in the battery, right? There's no change at all in, in what you're doing with in, in how you're, yes. you know, how you're, okay. But is there going to be a change at all in the driving range given some of these yes. improvements? Yeah. So uh, the, w the way we're doing dual motor, uh, it actually enables a range increase because we're able to balance the efficiency of the motors a lot more. Um, so if you just have one motor, it's always uh, on, on a particular uh, power versus efficiency curve. But if you've got two motors, you can optimize between them um, and actually have, uh, have the motors operate in their, their more efficient regime more of the time. And the net result is that we're able to get 10 miles more highway range just, because, just by going to dual motors, whereas in, in every other all-wheel drive system, uh, you, you lose range. This one, you gain it.